Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to unbox EK43S from Marconi. Uh, before we start, I'm going to big shout out to Joe at Espresso Outlet to uh, loaning us. Okay, he's not uh, giving it to us, uh, giving to me, just a loaner from Espresso Outlet. Uh, big shout out to Joe. We are going to check out this coffee grinder for the next couple of weeks. And uh, we are going to play with gr uh, this grinder and let's compare with my uh, P64, DF64, even niche grinder as well. It should be a lot of fun. It should be a lot of fun comparison. Anyway, uh, let's get going. Okay, let's see what's in the box. Uh, manual here, and then let's see here. We have the hopper cover, all right. So we have the hopper. Let's open this thing up. Actually, we have the hopper here, hopper cover. Okay, the hopper goes on the top, just like that. My first impression, wow, this thing is big, okay, compared to my P64, this is baby compared to Marconi EK43S. Uh, everything about this coffee grinder is solid. Man, that is a machine, okay, we talk about machine, I mean, that is a machine. That is one awesome coffee grinder. Uh, you know what, uh, I'll tell you what, so let's, let's, let's look at, a little closer, okay, so let's take a look at the hopper. So hopper is pretty big, and uh, I think you can get a shorter version as well. Okay, I think this is not made for single dose. And then uh, comes, uh, you can actually stop right here. Oops, here's the uh, hopper cover. But this kind of like piece of metal. I think it's gonna be better than this, but again, uh, yeah, you, you just gotta pull it, okay? So it's not the idea, but if I'm playing on buying this, I definitely upgrade this to something user friendly. But uh, again, the hopper is solid, okay? High quality plastic for sure. Uh, very sturdy. And then you, you can actually lock it in here, okay? You can, they have a locking mechanism so you can lock the hopper from the top. And then what else? We have the uh, kind of like this device here. Hopefully you guys can see it. So you can purchase a separate dosing cup for this, but I don't have it, but yeah, you can get some kind of dosing cup. This is a niche dosing cup, fits right in underneath there as well. Yeah. And then after you grind coffee beans, and then you can actually knock it out by this thing right here. So you can do, you know, get the rest of coffee beans coming out. And what else? Oh, simple on and off switch to the side, on and off. Okay, so listen to this. Hopefully you guys can hear this. You know what? Uh, retention wasn't too bad. I mean, what? Two, three grams off? I think it's going to be a lot worse than that. But yeah, it's not bad. Okay, not bad for just a stock. Okay. Maybe we, uh, we might have some older coffee. Because be, uh, Marconi people, they send it out. They do a test run anyway. Could be little older beans as well, perhaps. But again, a couple of grams is not a big deal. So, so far, so good. So, uh, you know what? Uh, let's put on the port filter. Let's give it a shot.
know what? I thought Shaw was pretty good, okay? About what, 23 seconds and about what, 39 gram there, almost 40 gram. I, I, I consider, you know, I'm dead. So, okay, think about this. This grinder has not been seasoned. It's not even aligned. So, I mean, everything, shot, I thought Shaw's looks pretty good. There's no challenging there, so. Anyway, oh, let's try the shot. Cheers. Smells pretty good. Man, very clean. Okay, clean taste. I can taste all different uh, tasting note as well. The tasting note is pretty interesting, okay? Rum cake, blue, uh, blackberry, vanilla, frosting, okay? I can uh, taste all the sweet notes, blackberry, rum. I can taste the rum. Subtle rum taste. It's quite nice, okay? Quite nice. So I'm really excited about this uh, uh, coffee grinder, okay? Except, as you heard, it's so loud. It's not ideal for home. Uh, great for, definitely for the cafe setting for sure, okay? So this is made for cafe, not made for home. But, I mean, if you have plenty of space at home, uh, I mean, if you don't mind the noise in the morning, <laughs> it's not a bad option either. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, I'm planning on doing a lot of comparison video, okay? I'm planning on comparing with my P64, uh, DF64 with the multi uh, SSP multi burst set as well. You know what? Uh, why not? You know, compare with the niche as well. So this one comes with a 98 uh, millimeter the flat burr. Okay, the, this thing is a huge 98 millimeter flat burr. So I'm really looking forward to compare with my P64. That's a 64 millimeter SSP burr uh, with a high uniformity. So I wonder is there any taste difference between different burr size? I bet you there is, but uh, we are going to find out next couple of weeks. And also this is great for pour over as well, the pour over drip coffee. So I'm really looking forward to uh, share that with you. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to see you guys next time.